Now we are ready for the the real meat of the operation here. The application of the die onto the disc. Mm. For die, we use RIT. This good old RIT, the same stuff you can pick up from the grocery store or Walmart or wherever you want to go. I'm going to try to avoid Walmart though. Um, <laughs> And you can see we have two pans going here. This one is black and this one is red. Uh, anybody that's familiar with the, Star Ca the, the Scarface poster might remember this actually. It's mostly black and white, but it's got a little bit of red in there. So we're going to make a, a two-tone dye today. Mm -hmm. um, you wanna, if you're going to be doing more than one color, you want to start with the darkest and then work up to lighter from there. So first one we're going to do is the black dye. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dye all the detail around uh, Scarface black, and then later on we'll pull off more vinyl and dye it red, and the the part that's dyed black will just get red dyed over it, right? So it'll still be black, and then the parts that are of disc that are newly exposed will just get red, right? Real easy. And uh, you can dye stuff without heat, but it takes a lot longer, and it's, yeah. a, and it's better to do it on the stove here and you want the dye to be just barely steaming you want it to be warm but not too hot if you yeah. get it too hot it can uh, actually kind of melt the vinyl a little bit and the the dye will bleed through and it, it, it can be ugly if you can't touch the side of the pan like this and it's too hot so it's enough Ooh, that's a little too hot that's all right red is second that'll cool down by the time we're ready all right yeah, I think we're ready to do the dip. Handles. Nice uh, little safety handles. All right, so when you're dipping, you want to let the disc in the die at a slight angle. Not enough of an angle so it the die spills over the edge of the Right, disc. That's, that's the one thing we're looking to really avoid here is letting any die go over the top of the disc because all these creases in the side, <sighs> the, if any yeah, die gets in there, it's going to run around to the front and you're... Yeah, it you're gonna terrible. be unhappy. So, but I'd put it in an angle because there's gonna be air bubbles that want to collect underneath here, and you want to put it in an angle that encourages the air bubbles to scoot to the side before the disc is all the way in the die. So, whoa! <laughs> so Grasp the handles firmly. This is another crucial step here. <laughs> in an angle, and just let the other side down. And there and you she go. Floats. <laughs> we got a floater. All right. And so now I just want to uh, check and make sure that there are no bubbles mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on the the face of the disc. So do that. Just gotta them. lift it back out. And again, make sure you have a nice firm grasp. And you can see the, the die running down. You can already see where it's taking onto the the disc more than it is on the vinyl. See, we're just looking for small little pinholes of uh, circles that aren't dyed, and that's how you know there's a bubble there. And it looks like it's free and clear. <clears throat> the risk for bubbles on the second time you put it in is a lot less, because once the surface of the disc is wet, right. then the bubbles really don't want to stick. Right, and the See, whole uh, surface tension thing. Yeah. You could just cut a bunch of time when you first dip it, just dip it a few times. Mm hmm. That's annoying. I'd like to just check it once, about 30 seconds after it's in the pan. Okay. And now we're just going to let it sit. Um, the basic time frames here it depends on how dark you want things to be. If you just start looking for like a gray, it'll be anywhere from like I don't know, two to three minutes. It, it differs with every disc. Um, but generally for like a, a full solid black, uh, it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, and it all depends on the concentration you dye, how hot you have the dye. Right. But. All right. So we'll let this sit and um, come back and check it soon. Now we are ready to do a, the transfer to the red dye. We've let this sit yeah. for a little while. Uh, should have a nice, good coating of black down on the disc. Can you see oh, that? It, oh, that's that is black as black ever gets right there. Onyx. Good to go. 
All right, so give it a little shake to try to get the, the drops of dye off because uh, you don't really want the writ to fall on your kitchen floor because it doesn't come out very well. No, not at all. <laughs> Sometimes you have a kitchen where the sink is right next to the stove. That's handy. Right. In Tim's kitchen, we got a... Whoa! Yeah. And my uh, kitchen is less spectacular than others, so probably... Dye wouldn't hurt it too much. But yeah, let's give it a, a good rinse off in the sink. And now, uh... There you go. Yeah, you can, you can see the, the dye and taking shape that? on there. Yeah, it's looking like Scarface, but... He needs a, a little corsage, I believe. <laughs> Alright, of course I'm not going to take all the vinyl off quite yet, even though I know you want to. We're going oh, to take yeah. off I do want to. just the parts that are going to be red. Like, that part. Oh! That nice clean line, no bleeds, no nothing. Yeah, that is what a lack of air bubbles will give you. Yeah. So we're going to have that part be red and his n hanky in his pocket. So you didn't see that before, but I had it secretly cut out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was just a little hairline cut in there that did not show up on camera, especially on the yellow disc. So those are going to be only red parts. That will give a nice little splash of red amongst all the scar faciness. Right. And then that'll be a lot of red. Yeah. Yeah. You artistic types might know a little thing about balance, and that's going to uh, show up here. All right. Oh, here's a bummer. We've lost two of our handles. So uh -oh. now we gotta do it the old fashioned way. The chuck's flying off the handle. So yeah, if you don't have handles, just apply pressure to the sides and dip it in like so. And there it is. Here, we'll do a quick bubble check. Mm -hmm. Mmm, looks good. We got a little, uh, writ nastiness. That's just the powdered red writ. Eh, it'll go away. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. That's right. And red writ. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now I'll just let that sit, and a few minutes later we should have a dyed disc. Now we are ready to check the red and see if it's... <laughs> Super red's dark Deeply enough. colored enough. Easy. Oh, oh, that's super dark. Looking saucy. Yeah, that's good looking. I'm not sure you can get that on camera quite easily, but that uh, red is red. It looks pretty red. All right. All right, give it a little shake to help mm. preserve my Woo old floor. Oh yeah, look how nice and dark that red is. Oh, uh, it's looking beautiful. So yeah, we are. Here in the very final stages of the disc dyeing process, just giving it a final rinse, and it helps to uh, helps to keep the hot water going when you're peeling the vinyl off, and just helps loosen up the bond and. Yeah, it kind of makes the vinyl less sticky. Yeah, and, and as an aside that I forgot to mention earlier, it's definitely better to get name brand vinyl rather than like the cheapest possible stuff you can find, because cheap stuff will leave a a nasty residue on there that just. It's a pain to take off. Nearly impossible sometimes. Alright, this red is still a little deep. I'm gonna wash some of it off. There's still some surf there's some dye on the surface of the disc. Mm-hmm. It's not like get as much off as possible, just you know. Just because. It's, it's the extra little details that really count. And uh the best tweezers in the world. Yes, that that Chuck gaffled from me, but uh <laughs> Yeah, the little needle nose tweezers are the way to go here. What? Whose hair is this, Tim? I don't think that's mine. No, that's too long. You, I know you didn't have a girl over here, so. <laughs> Must have been your mom. Oh, snap. Haha. <laughs> right, see, the vinyl comes off so easily with hot water. The vinyl is off. A little dry job. We got Scarface. Oh, he's wet. Yeah. Now he's crooked. Shabam. That is 
That's Scarface. A quick and easy die, and that is money. Good job, Chuck. Yeah!